back, welcome back, welcome back, JDC family. My name is Jay. This is my Diecast Creations channel, and welcome to round three of week one of the JDC Outlaw Drags here at JDC Raceway. If you guys haven't seen yet, head on over to Outlaw Speed Shop and check out his week one 32 car bracket for the J the Outlaw Speedway. Only one car can collect 17 points this week. We're gonna see who it is. All these cars that are lined up in the shoot right now have six. They have claimed six. Anyone that advanced past the first round is sitting on three points. This is a four week marathon, folks. Let's see who's gonna be the champion. Race number one is at the line in the left lane. We got Wicked Small Garage in that Porsche Carrera. In the right lane, Road Warrior John in the 55 Bel Air. Who is going to advance on? The right lane is red. The right lane is red. And Wicked Small Garage launches out of the gate, taking a one car lead. One car lead, and they're both at top speed here. They are both at top speed. Road Warrior John slipped the clutch coming out of the gate. Slipped the clutch and just couldn't keep up there. But he's pacing, he is pacing that Porsche Carrera. And they both seem to be creeping now. I don't know what's going on here. They're both, they are both sputtering. But Wicked Small Garage jumps out to a two-car length lead just past halfway. But Road Warrior John gathers it up and comes back to the back bumper as we look down that final straight here. And Road Warrior John is picking up the pace. He picks up the pace, comes around on the right side to take the lead. He's got victory in sight. Is he going to do it? It's looking really good. So we're having trouble with this Porsche. Wicked Small Garage is having catastrophic failures right now, and it is over for him for week one. Road, Ro Road Warrior John is going to pick up another three points, advancing to the next round. Race number two is at the line for round three. In the left lane, we got Wolf Good in the 70 Dodge Charger. In the right lane, Maple Leaf Customs in the Porsche 935 Urban Outlaw. They both miss a shift out of the gate, slipping clutches, slipping tires. Don't know if they didn't acclimate to the change of scenery. Because it's raining outside, we had to move the track in. And that might affect the way that these guys are driving right now. But they seem to pick it up. They seem to both pick it up. And they're rolling at top speed here. Andrew from Maple Leaf Customs has a slight lead over that left lane. And he's going to open it up one more and put a, a small gap between him and that 70 Dodge Charger Hemi. But Wolf Good says, uh-uh-uh, big, big Mopar motor here. I'm coming through. But Andrew puts the hammer down, rips the rear view mirror off the windshield and takes off. He says, I don't even need it anymore. But Wolf Good pops a wheel stand and comes up to the back bumper at a 935. And these guys are, are rolling at the same pace here. Andrew's at the line. Wolf Good is in chase. Can Wolf Good pull off the upset and advance? No, he cannot. Andrew from Maple Leaf Customs advances on to the next round. Race number three is in the is in the shoot at the line. In the left lane, we got Rapid Nismo in that Volvo 850 wagon. This thing has been turning and burning on everything it goes up against. But do not sleep. In the right lane, we got DKS Creates in the Subaru 22B. All-wheel drive. This should be a good race, folks. This should be a good race. And as it's been, that right lane with the all-wheel drive Subi gets the launch, putting the traction down on all four tires. 
but that Volvo picks up steam and comes out hot. Comes out hot, coming around the Subi, coming around the Subi, and pulling the lead. He's got a car, a bumper on him. He's got a bumper on him, and they're both rolling at the same speed here. They are both rolling at the same speed, but the right lane comes back. DKS creates, pops the Nas bottle button, and hits that thing, because he ain't scared. Comes back around the right side, taking the lead, swapping the spot with Rapid. This is a great race, folks. This is a great race, and DKS creates, has a twin turbo under the hood of that thing, I'm pretty sure. He won't let us know exactly what it is, but I'm pretty sure it sounds like it's spooling up with that flathead motor in there. And Rapid comes back to the back bumper there, and Rapid Nismo is not done. He does, I don't know what's under the hood of this thing. That 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 grocery getter is is got some secret power in it because he literally comes around and launches off, winning the race, taking the win from underneath that all-wheel drive of DKS Creates and moving on to the next round. In the left lane, we got Neil Cummings in that 57 Chevy Bel Air. In the right lane, in the Hemi Cuda DT99 race. Now the pressure is on for DT99 race because Outlaw Speed Shop said he's calling his shot and that that Hemi Cuda is taking it all the way. So DT99 race, has to be on point. He cannot slip up at all if he wants to make that come true. Neil Cummings. I missed the spot. I'm sorry. I went three. It was supposed to be two. Neil Cummings takes the lead as we as we pass the quarter mark here. And they're both rolling at a pretty good pace. They are rolling at a pretty good pace. We got the classic Chevy Dodge matchup. But DT99 Race says, I am the big dog. I do have the better car. And you're going to eat my dust. You are going to eat my dust. He pulls a gap on Neil. And Neil in that classic American muscle car, the heartbeat of America, they call it, is losing ground here in this round. Now, if he does get knocked out, it's not over. We all go to the next weak but it is imperative to get as many points as you can right now early and neil knows that he pulls up beside him and dt99 race launches off to the line this is going to be this is going to need every bit of momentum to get that left lane around. there is your 32 competitors here are your semi finalists Road Warrior John, Rapid Nismo, DT99 Race, and Maple Leaf Customs. Welcome to the semifinals round of the JDC Outlaw Series Week 1 of 4. In the left lane, we got Road Warrior John in that 55 Chevy Bel Air mystery car. In the right lane, Andrew from Maple Leaf Customs driving the Porsche 935. Urban Outlaw, who is it gonna be, folks? This is a big, big round here. Whoever advances on claims a bonus point for making it to the semifinal, to, to the finals, I'm sorry. Whoever moves on gets a bonus point, and then the winner of the finals gets another bonus point on top of winning that race. So this race right here is crucial, is crucial. And the left lane puts that puts that Chevy power down and picks up a lead over that Porsche 935, driven by the Canadian himself. And Road Warrior John is just moving right now. He pulls a one-car gap on that Porsche, and they're both up to speed. They are both up to speed, closing in on three quarters on the three-quarter mark and the finish line is in sight folks the finish line is in sight and road warrior john sees it pulls a two-car gap over andrew at maple leaf customs and andrew's running out of time 
He is running out of time. He is locked out. Road Warrior John is going to advance, even though Andrew makes a huge run at the end to the line. Road Warrior John edges him out by just a smidge and moves on to the finals. And in the left lane, Rapid Nismo in that secret sauced up grocery getter Volvo 850. I don't know what this guy has got in this car, but it is fast. And in the right lane, VT99 race in the Hemi Cuda. Let's go, let's go. The right lane launches and Rapid Nismo slips up at the worst possible time. Is he gonna come back, folks? Is he gonna come back? He makes a run to the back bumper of that Mopar. And let's see, let's see where this goes, folks. They're both at top speed. They are both really fast cars. I will say that Rapid has upset everybody he's gone up against so far. And it looks like he might have a chance to do the same to DT99 race in that Mopar Madness Hemi Cuda, but it's not over. DT99 race says, yo, listen, youngin, I'm experienced here. I got everything I need to make this happen. And they go heads up, door handle to door handle, bumper to bumper, just past halfway, just past halfway, coming past the three quarter mark. DT99 race takes the lead. We're coming down to the final straight, folks. Final straight. Who is it going to be? DT99 race is at the line. It's still anybody's race, but Rapid needs a Hail Mary, and he gets it. And he gets it. Rapid comes around at the line, beating out DT99 race and advancing on to the finals. There you have it. These are the two finalists for week one of the JDC Outlaw Drags. Let's get them to the line, and let's see who's going to take this. It is all on the line here for week one. These are your two finalists. In the left lane, Road Warrior John in that 55 Chevy Bel Air. He wanted the Big Air Bel Air. I'm pretty sure he's glad he's got this purple flamed up mystery model. Pineapple 55 Chevy. Cause that thing is smoking fast right now. And in the right lane, Rapid Nismo with the sleeper of all sleepers, the Volvo 850 wagon. I don't know if he all wheel drive swapped this thing, supercharged it with twin turbos and a 500 shot of Nas. I don't know what he's got going on, but they are fast and they come out of the box hot, boy. They come out of the box like a ball of lightning, taking three spots out of the gate. They're heads up, they are heads up right now. Still, still heads up. They both missed the shift there. They both missed the shift. And our left lane takes the lead. That 55 Chevy is no slouch. Is no slouch. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm not mistaken, they're both from the UK. Um, I'm not sure about Road Warrior John. I'm pretty sure he's from the UK. I know he's from somewhere across the pond. So this is the battle of foreigners here on US soil at JDC Raceway for the finals of week one. These guys came in and took over the track. Rapid with a huge, huge, huge upset last round. Coming around DT99 race at the end. Just proved that he's got what it takes. And these guys swap positions just a little bit, but they are heads up guys all the way down the track. All the way down the track and Road Warrior John comes out to the small lead small lead with the finish line in sight who is it gonna be the right lane comes around the right lane comes around and takes the win and wins the finals at the line folks a six over a four and rapid nismo is your week one champion 32 competitors signed up for this tournament Week by week, they got knocked out. Round by round, they got knocked out. And at the end of the day, there can only be one. Rapid Nismo takes down 17 points heading into week two. I will do another random bracket through the computer. 
It randomly scatters everything. And you guys will be re-pitted against another, another opponent to start off week two of the JDC Outlaw Series. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. Make sure to head over to Outlaw Speed Shop and check out his week one tournament to see who you might be up against at the end of four weeks when the top eight competitors from both tracks meet here at JDC Speedway for the tournament championship. Congratulations to Rapid Nismo on winning the first bracket. I'll see you guys next week with the new bracket, week two. Peace.